Now, this is President Yoon's second time in Paris to meet with BIE representatives. This was a journey that started with his inauguration, with the campaign at the core of his diplomatic agenda. Our Kim Do Young gives us the highlights of the president's efforts. 105 key figures from 91 countries met during 12 overseas trips, and one nosebleed. That's the sum of President Yoon Song Yeol's all-out effort to host the World Expo 2030 in Busan, as the campaign to host the expo comes to an end in Paris next Tuesday. For him, it is an opportunity for South Korea to become a true leader in the global community while giving Busan an opportunity to develop further, a big win both domestically and internationally. In fact, it only took 20 days from his inauguration to kick things off as he chaired the first committee meeting on the bid. Then things really started to pick up pace as he went on overseas trips. NATO in June 2022 was his first foreign multilateral trip where he promoted Busan during his 10 sideline summits. As he continued to push for Busan during overseas trips, a chance came to bring the focus back home as officials from the Bureau International des Expositions Inquiry Mission visited Korea to assess Busan. President Yoon welcomed the representatives and emphasized the unity of South Korean people behind the Busan bid. <laughs> In June, he himself was part of the presenters at the BIE General Assembly along with K-pop star Psy and other prominent figures. This is something the other contenders, Saudi Arabia and Italy, did not do, showing the unity from the top of the government to each citizen was the exact edge Busan offered. We will make it the best world expo of all time. A central and local governments, companies and citizens, all political parties, and more than 7.5 million overseas Koreans are truly united in their wish for the Busan Expo. The true highlight was his trip to New York for the UN General Assembly in September. In a span of five days, he had 41 sideline bilateral summits with other leaders in town. All this as he made a UN address urging the closing of division in the world, saying the Busan Expo 2030 was perfect for that. <laughs> It was during a cabinet meeting after this trip, according to reports, that the president suffered a nosebleed due to fatigue. But it was also the pressure, as amid extreme political and social divide in the country, the Busan Expo is one thing that's wanted by both sides of the aisle. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.